Hey, it's JZ1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Evolution. And in this episode of our season, as Casey Mears and his number 13 Geico Chevrolet, we're going to be completing race 23 of 36, which is the Bass Pro Shops in our Ray Night Race at Bristol Motor Speedway. Last time we raced here was way back in the early parts of the season. I don't remember the race going that well. I remember thinking like, okay, well, if this hadn't happened, then I probably could have finished way better. You know, it was green flag pit stops um, instead of a, a caution, maybe a caution. I finished fifth. I thought I finished like 15th or something. Okay, so never mind. Whatever happened in that race just happened again. Okay, I just want to get a good finish, get good points and stuff. Right now, we're, uh, we're at four wins. We're first in the chase standings, which I never really take a look at because, you know, we got the most wins over Keselowski and Jimmy Johnson. But as far as the actual point settings, which is what I like, we're seven behind Kozlowski, and we are nine behind Kevin Harvick. And I don't want to do the math for Jimmy Johnson, but yeah, us four guys, we're the ones that are trying to get that regular season title, even though they don't have one in the Sprint Cup Series. They didn't bring that around until Monster Energy Cup Series. According to the loading screen, Bristol Motor Speedway turned 50 years old in 2011. So it's going to turn 60 next year. Cool. Nice facts, Heat Evolution. Uh, yeah, so this is the, the night race, um, we, the day race earlier on in the season. Why do I always have like this orange and yellow tape? They all do that, but like specifically, why is it orange and yellow? There's no way that we all have this same orange and yellow tape. I think it's crap. Not every grill looks like that. That's weird symmetry. I don't know why that, that would be a thing. Also take note of like the Chevy car and 2016 has like the, the oh my god I couldn't even make it off the first that wasn't the first turn I couldn't make it off the negative first turn or something last one could make it off the last turn before the drop in the green flag I was gonna say that Chevy's got like the mufflers in 2016 on the car and all that stuff and then with the Toyota and the Ford there's just nothing there they really try to make it look like a regular car whatever in reality we all know that it's not NASCAR is not even anything close to um the cars that you see on the roads. NASCAR Association for Stock Car Racing is um, Stock Car Auto Racing. It is that does not involve stock cars. There's there's no stock cars in here. I don't know why these are called stock cars. They're not stock. A stock car you buy from the dealership and then there you go. It's a stock car. That's what it means to be stock. There ain't nothing stock about a stock car anymore. So. I don't know why we're still calling them stock cars. It's too simple. I still like NASCAR, of course. You know, I like this. It's kind of racing, but it's kind of bullshit. It doesn't come down to the driver and the tuning. It just comes down to you know who's got the most money. Okay, I'm not trying to wreck you. You're just not giving me the room to fully pass you. You have to give me the whole track, okay? I am the player. You're just some dumb computer. You gotta give me the whole track. Reason being. Because at Bristol in this game, the car just sucks at steering so badly. You've really got to back up the turns. you really got to get off the throttle way more than necessary. It's so slow in Heat Evolution. I think the same can be said about Heat 2 and Heat 3. Heat 4 comes around and everything just looks way faster. So that helps their case. I'm getting rammed from the left and almost from the right with the 47 over here, the dinger. And then the 43 car, Almirola, doing the same shit to me. I'm going to stick it underneath the Jones. And then you know, Michael McDowell next to me. Yeah, that is Michael McDowell. It said it's on his, his thing above his window. Okay, I got it right, guys. The guy in the 95 is Michael McDowell. I know he drove that car for a while. But with all the other people that I've seen in the 95 car, I, I don't even know anymore. Oh, boy. Dan, Dan, Danica is, is wrecking it. Oh, my goodness. Panica. So, we're up to 22nd. You know, I, I can't blame it on Danica. I gotta blame it on the entire game itself. Don't blame the player, blame the game. Because every single guy on the track races like this. You're stupid. Fuck you. You won't stop wrecking. You're not gonna throw a caution for that? I guess not. So Danica's back. I have to pass her again. I'm stuck on the outside of her. This shouldn't be too hard, but my tires are wearing down. Okay, we got it. Now let me catch those guys. All right, I caught these guys. I did not mean to wall pop, but I did that. I didn't even think I was gonna catch them within 
half a lap, but I did. Not that difficult. Okay, so we're up to 19th. We're doing all right. We got a long ways to go in this race. I'm just going to keep on pushing this car until they ain't got any tires left. And then, well, once there's no tires left, then I just got to try to hold my position the best that I can. Oh, take it up the ass, awesome Dylan. You know that I'm faster than you. Because, you know, the, the player is faster than the AI as long as he can just handle the car decently in this game. So, why the hell bother? trying to stay next to me off the corner whenever I've already come underneath you and stayed underneath you and I'm just gonna keep on passing cars once I get past your sorry ass you know how this game is just touch the back of someone's car they just really don't seem to to want to stop spinning and wrecking and stuff it's like they start and they just, it's a temptation they just, oh, that, that, I'm enjoying this let's keep doing this guys am I doing better this time than I did last time because I think last time we had uh, the night racing, not, not the night racing, the Bristol race. I don't know why I said the night racing. Last time we had the Bristol race, I don't think I climbed this high. and was I don't think I was capable of climbing any higher. But I think we'll get to Hamlin, Chase Elliott maybe. Ugh, car is definitely getting tighter. Like, I really backed it up off the corner and still just drove it right into the wall. I could wall pop. Yeah, I have totally get the job done. I probably got damage and stuff, but you know I'm not going to fix it. Of course not. Yeah, we're still getting these guys right there behind them. Trying to make it off the turn. I'm going to send it underneath Hamlin this time. Yeah, who cares about you? You are rude to Elliot, and Elliot is also kind of rude and stuff now. So, we're up to 12th. I didn't even think I was going to be capable of passing these guys, these six cars or whatever. And I might not be because Kevin Harvick will not stop rubbing his ass on my face. I do my best to, to lay back until I got a run big enough to actually get underneath somebody, but they still slow down so much that they just push up against the front of my car. But we're 11th now. We're going to get into the top 10. We're going to pass Keselowski and Newman. I just don't know when the tires are going to have fully fallen off at some point. I can't stop touching you. You're too slow, and I'm too fast. I'm too good. And the next thing you know, I'm not good at all anymore. I'm falling back because of worn tires, but... Uh, I gotta do what I gotta do while I still can. So we're gonna beat Newman in a turn three here. I literally had to check while I was saying that which stretch I was on just so I could say the right turn. So, we're in ninth. And there's Kyle Larson. We still got smoke left from the... Okay, that's not from the last lap. That's smoke from somebody up ahead. I thought that was my smoke from sliding into people and shit. But someone up ahead is, is not driving well. It's Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick is doing things. Oh, he's really doing things. I'm going to go around him. Jimmy Johnson's not. Kyle Larson is not. Haha, <laughs> two free spots. Let's go get Kenseth. Get up to six. I'm doing way better than I did last time. Hello, Kenseth. I am here. I can't turn. Oh, my God. Let's send it. None of these lap cars, I don't even think these people are breaking down. They're just so damn slow. They're holding up the... The lead lap cars. Hendrick. Hendrick. Kenseth. Whatever your stupid ass name is. Stop being so slow and getting in my way at the same time. Pick one. Like, be fast and get in my way, or be slow and get out of my way. Well, Tyler Reddick is, uh, his flat tires fixing shit. I've got to let Jimmy Johnson buy and hit the wall because I can't turn. I can't avoid having him underneath me. One way or another, he's, he's got to get out of there, whether it's me getting ahead of him or him getting ahead of me. I can't finish turns. Yeah, that's the tire wear. I mean, we're already almost happy with the race, so we're going to take a pit stop in a bit. Yeah, I mean, that guy's pitting, and I want to pit, I guess, after lap 33. would be a good way to balance things out. It's looking like it's going to be another green flag race, just like the first race was, the first bristle race until the other cautions came out, I guess. Ugh. I'm actually trying to catch Jimmy Johnson and, and stuff. So let's just go ahead and, and keep battling it out with him. You know, don't put him in the wall. It's okay if we rub him and stuff. That's, that's NASCAR. But let's, let's not put him in the wall. This is Jimmy Johnson. Ugh. All right. I want to pit this lap. Let's, let's do that. Get out of your way. I am going really slow. Where does it begin? Begin, stupid game. You're so bad. Well, all these, these two lines I passed, but they don't matter. 
No damage. Uh, get the tires and the fuel. Okay, that's a halfway mark now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't get it. We had a yellow line, then we had a white line right after that line, then there's a line way up ahead. It's supposed to be the commitment line, because that's whenever you decide that you're pitting. It'd be troublesome if you get sent down there, but... There were all the times of racing online and getting knocked down pit road. But in this case, it's like, the commit li commitment line doesn't matter. What the heck? And that was a long pit stop, too. Oh, gosh. Well... A bunch of people still haven't pit yet. And there's not gonna be some caution to trap me a lap down. No, of course not. That's not gonna happen. So, let's just let all this stuff play out. Be fast while we need to be fast. Which is now, because I can be. Once I can't be fast, then I'm just trying to hold down, hold my ground, you know? All clear. Well, I'm 8th after all these pit stops. And there's Kevin Harvick. Never mind, I'm 5th, because he's 4th. What the hell is... We're still getting a bunch of positions. Alright, we gained positions on pit road. I didn't think this was going to happen, because last time, that did not happen. I was really slow entering. I, I thought I was going to lose positions, like at least 5, maybe 10. So that, this is awesome. We get Harvick. Take that 4 car, no longer in 4th place. Suck it. Suck it, Harvick. I actually got a, a die cast of... Kevin Harvick's car for Christmas. And I just posted that to my community tab. You can go look at it. It's his um, Brickyard 400 Independence Day win. And that was actually the final uh, Brickyard 400 in the NASCAR Cup Series. Because next year they're going to start doing the road course. And Although that that won't be a Brickyard 400. They can't have a 400-mile race at a road course. Why do y'all suck? I feel like AI right now. I have nowhere to pass you guys. I'm going to go in here. Get out of the way. You get out of the way. All the other way. Now, Edwards, Edwards is for position. Yeah, he's third. No, no, no. Get out of the way. You get out of the way. Suck my asshole. Suck my wet, stinky asshole. Third place for Casey Mears. You all are stupid and slow, and you are not getting out of the way. There's no blue flag with a yellow cross on it that says, get the fuck out of the leader's way. So you all just sit here. And they do that in every damn NASCAR game. In the EA Sports games, they do it on purpose. They got smoke up ahead. Someone's being more aggressive than me. Stop that. Or, or bring out a caution for it. So this is going to give me the opportunity to win the race. Joey Logano, Dylan R. Jr., one and two. And then I'm right there on the inside. And I've got fresh tires still. We're going to skip some laps. Um, yeah, you ain't going to make way under caution, so that's good. I like it whenever I don't have to wait for no reason. They've, been, they've done that to me like four or five times in this game since we started this Let's Play. Ah, uh, look around. Look how big this stadium is, how big everything is. This is great. I am the leader. And I think we got like 12 laps to go next time by, 13. We skipped a lot of laps. We had like 24 or 21 laps remaining. Now it's 13. We skipped seven laps or, or eight laps under that caution. Uh... I mean, I guess that would have happened in reality, but it's a, it's a game, so you should be saving the laps, making sure the player gets the racing in. Eric Almarola has been making all kinds of people crash into him and stuff. I would know that because I've seen so much smoke all over the damn place in the past three or four laps, but the white flag is out. I'm leading, and if there's a caution, that doesn't really matter. They're probably... Have the race, um, have another restart and crap, and I'll probably lose for having worn tires. So, not until we get to the finish line can we actually celebrate this victory, the fifth victory of the season. We did it! We won the Bristol Night Race, I'm telling you, ever since I went to Bristol for a race at night. Greatest luck at Bristol Night Races. Yes! There are the race results. Kyle Busch second. Joey Logano, after the, being in the lead that restart, finishes third. And they're going to show all this stuff for actually letting me read the top again. Yeah, Trevor Bain, I destroyed his race. Uh, Kurt Busch, 4th. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, 11th. Kevin Harvick, 15th. Keselowski, 27th. Are we the points leader now? We should be the points leader now. I don't know if I gained that many points. But 
We should be like up to second or third or something. Yeah, congratulations. Look at that beautiful bristle trophy, just as like always. It's the same trophy that you get in like NASCAR, Thunder 2004 and 2005 and whatever. And it's in this game with the 2016 plates and the race logos. I just love that. I love that it's the same trophy in a different game, like way in the future. Graphically, it's not quite up to resolution, but I don't care. I love that they do this. Next up is the Pure Michigan 400 at Michigan International Speedway. And reminder, we won the first Michigan race quite easily. I mean, the game tried to stop me, but it failed. So, if it doesn't do that, then I'll definitely win, and if it tries to, maybe it'll be able to stop me this time. But, we're gonna win two races this weekend. You know it, it's, it's gonna happen. No way it's not gonna happen. And the point standings, yep, we're second. Ten points behind Jimmy Johnson. Well, it takes is finishing like six spots in front of him, and then we're the points leader, right? Because if you win a race, you get 40 points. Second place is 35, so, I, mean, I think him finishing like 6th place would give him 30 points or something. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it's counted, but that's about what it'll take. And there's no guarantee that Jimmy Johnson's just gonna run that well in every race, even though he's the points leader. Man, we've got two more wins than Jimmy Johnson and Keselowski, so I mean, we're locking up this regular season title that we won't get a trophy for because the chase for the Spring Cup thing is also stupid. They don't even credit anybody for be in first place whenever the points reset. I hate that. I mean, at least they they do it in the Monster Energy Cup Series and the NASCAR Cup Series as it's now known. But see you next time. That's that. And episode over.